Welcome back, my name is Vasa Olga. Today we're creating Zoe Witch makeup look. This is gonna be a tutorial, another tutorial. I know that you, you've been loving my Zoe Witch makeup look that I created almost a year ago or probably even more than a year ago. So this is my part number two where I found this gorgeous photo that you are about to see on your screens right now. I'm obsessed with this photo, this is super sexy and uh, pretty. So if you're interested in how I did this makeup look, then please keep on watching, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and let's get started. Three compliments of the day. I love my sense of humor. I love being sensitive, but at the same time, I love being tough. Um, I try to combine my sensitivity with my toughness. It's time to create a foundation. Okay, when we're talking about Zoe Deutsch, it's really simple. I'm just gonna get started. I guess the most important step of her routine is to create some foundation with a lot of moisturizer so it looks nicely blended, nicely prepared. Uh, so, at first we're gonna moisturize our face. It doesn't really matter what moisturizer you use. You can use some coconut oil, um, olive oil. Uh, you can use some Prime Studio from Essence as well as primer from e.l.f. But this is mostly primer. Um, you can use Nivea cream. So, all of them are really good. This routine is not that bad. Now it's time to focus on my primer. And when it goes to primer, I love using my Essence Primer Glow Boost and Formidum as a primer. While my face is still wet, I will be using my Tanica powder. This is from Thailand. If you don't really have this powder, then you can use any powder. I'm gonna use a tiniest bit. I don't really wanna go too much with this product because we need a little bit. A little bit of my Makeup Revolution um, define and conceal foundation mixed with my Wet n Wild. You know that I love Wet n Wild foundation, but it's a little bit dark. I mean, darker than my natural skin tone. We need a little bit of this product, just the tiniest bit, because we're gonna apply it on the sides of my face. And with my foundation brush, I'm creating this kind of like really nice and even makeup look. Right now, I'm gonna offer you two different options. The first one is from Sephora. It's 08 Light Ivory Color. The next one is from Makeup Revolution. Both of them are pretty much affordable. I will be using my Sephora concealer. I just love it. The next step is to use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. It's time to use my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. As you've noticed from her photo that I'm about to show you on the screen, so I will be using my blush. Just a little bit on her cheekbones, a tiniest bit, but you cannot spot it yourself. The only option that I have is from my BH um, palette. And I have the whole row of blushes. I'm gonna go with this one from my pen because it looks really natural and soft and at the same time I can create some sort of like contour. Uh, with my Essence Blush Brush. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna show you how I do it, normally how I do it. I apply a little bit on my cheekbone right here. But then I'm gonna flip my brush like this and brush this up a little bit. Kind of diffuse this color. And guys, that's pretty much it. This is the final result of her foundation. We won't be needed this palette any longer. So the next step that I will be showing you guys is to do her brows. This is a little bit different section that I'm just about to show you, but I'm gonna mention that her brows are outstanding. They're super bushy. Fortunately, her makeup routine, brow routine, looks pretty much the same as mine because I love bushy brows. So at first, I'm just gonna use my Beauty Bay brush. So at first, I'm brushing up my hair with the help of this spoolie with some soap and then just pressing this up against my skin. So kind of creating some shape. And then with my Makeup Revolution brow gel, 
uh, chocolate eyebrow pomade. I'm dipping into this product and kind of like grabbing lots of this shade on my brush and then sort of like creating a line. You don't want this to be absolutely dry and not super wet. Something between because it's really hard to move the product when you have um, dry brows with lots of soap in them or it's really hard to move the product when they're super wet. With the same product, I will be filling my brows like this. I am sort of like creating straws. And now with the same spoolie that I used to create my brows, I'm brushing off this extra product. Okay, okay, let's get started with my new face from NYX Privet Primer. Go into some nude color from Beauty Bay's Ashed Palette to create depth in the crease. By the way, today we'll be using colors only from one eyeshadow palette, Beauty Bay, but you can grab any similar eyeshadow palette or shade from other collections. It's up to you girls. A little white in the inner third of the lid to make my eye look even bigger. And um, gray color is optional because it's deep and rich close to the black one we used to blend out everything. Look at this, no difference. The key part of any look is to make sure it's blended properly. Using the same colors to emphasize the look. Again, blending and getting to the liner part, like, you know, just normal stuff. I created a very thick line, as thick as hers, but my line turned out to be a little bit messy. I don't know what I've just created in my inner corner, just no comments. Mascara is the final step. Today is not a false day, but it's always up to you girls, just whatever you want. Right now I will be using my Wet n Wild pencil. my lipstick that I'm obsessed with is from Wet n Wild, color Rainbow Rose. Question of the day, how do I fulfill more tasks? So, I am gonna be honest, sometimes it's really hard and difficult for me to find some extra time. That's why my recommendation number one is to have some calendar. For example, for a day, you have to upload at least two videos. If you upload those videos, then you get something that you love. It doesn't have to be super fancy. It just has to be something that you've been wanting to do for a long period of time. Um, okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. I hope to see you in my next video that's gonna be uploaded hopefully really soon. And I guess till my next video. Bye bye.